There we are. It's Friday, Phil. Abs, 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 what's happening? Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Wilson Harley, how are you? Can you need to the little song you were doing backstage. I like that one. What? What was I doing? I was singing it's Friday, <laughs> baby. Friday. I'm in such a good mood. Oh. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> tell you why i'm in such a good mood because this is the first time for a while that i've come here to this park yeah. to the proper to my place um to instruct because i always come here to train but now i'm actually yeah. instructing which is quite a vibe because it means there's nothing you know i hate restrictions you're not being confined i'm not, not being confined i've got so much space bearing voice instead can just never say oh, no, I'm I, I mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say it there's no one else in the park. In fact, I can see my uh, foot, uh, footprints from the from the dew in the, on the grass. It's just me. And I tell you, it's just something quite soulful about this moment, Dan. Should we just take Are a second and calm it? down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are good we? Good morning. Are we? Good morning. I'm going to get the both streamed up so I can see people's names when they pop up yes yes indeedy indeedy we've got a couple people watching joey joey's watching us joseph it's a big workout good. tomorrow i'm very very excited to see your and louis workout tomorrow a repeat of the amrap uh, session that you did in uh, in your first week it's going to be really cool guys yes. you must be there it's going to be so cool we're going to see your progress uh joe and louis are going to inspire you to take home the rest of the month and that's just completely i didn't even plan that that's just joey started watching and i thought about it go really? to that workout be there be there be there um, um uh, how is it the end of august literally I mean, the month is gone it's just time man and time will pass us by <laughs> unless <laughs> unless <laughs> I was going to go so deep there. No, it, it is. It's going so quickly. And I think it's because there's always so much happening. So much on the go, uh, always at Jet. No? Do you agree? Of course, generally in life. I mean, I moved into my house more than a year ago now, and um, I'm still not packed. I'm packed. So I'm finished. I was thinking, but, I'm, but then it's because I'm never here. Literally, I'm I, never you here. Literally, yeah, you literally. <laughs> Oh as I remember when I first came there, you're like, excuse the boxes, you know, it's going to be... I don't have boxes uh, was, anymore. I know, I know. But then the last one was there, you're like, no, we're just finishing off a couple of pieces. I was like, I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. I'm just, it is. It's because you literally travel uh, for a living. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, it's paying dividends and it will pay dividends. Uh, Mills is here giving clapping hands. Hello, Amelia. Hello, my darling. Uh, Mapule, good morning, good morning, and Leanne Bird, what is happening? Good to see you. Lots of people watching, 15 of you. Come on, come on. What, is Louis, what did Louis say? Don't be a ghost, treat the, treat I look the host. The what are you looking at? Oh, no, I'm on the other stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, morning, uh, Bronwyn, as well. Good morning, Bronwyn. Good morning, Dominique. How are we doing this morning? Oh. oh. Greg is pulling me through my paces, okay? He has got a spicy little session. I've, um, yeah, be ready. I'm, what is I'm the very, name again? Lucky sevens. Lucky number seven. So, yeah. seven. it's uh, sl seven. seven. So, <laughs> so, seven on purpose, because that's like a cult movie, you know? Like, Lucky number seven was like uh, arguably one of the best movies of all time with Kevin Spacey Never as a it. psychopath playing a, playing a psychopath. Um, and, uh, uh, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, Kevin Spacey, uh, beautiful, well, not a beautiful, horrific film, but uh, uh, so, it, so I would, so, some would say, some would say cultish. It was, it was one of those films that got released, and it's quite dark, hence the name Lucky Number Seven, but uh, or Slevin, because his name is Slevin in the in the movie. Um, yeah, I don't I want, that reference at all. <laughs> no, no, I don't think many would, because I'm a bit of a movie fanatic, but. Uh, let me just tell you, uh, and the reason I wanted to do it was I want people to comment what their lucky number is after workout. Uh, and that's pretty much the only reason I do it because seven used to be my lucky number and then I just, just pivoted.
change. I've kind of got I've kind of got two numbers that mean a, like. So I was born on Friday thirteenth, which obviously. Ooh, I like that. I like yeah, it. so 13, and I play 13 and 15. However, 12 is my squad number for sevens, and yeah. hashtag 12 is my thing. Ooh. 12 is the one. So 12 and 13 are very my numbers. Can I have to? I'd love, I'd love to know a, a couple of stories, like like lucky number, but why? Why is it your lucky number? You know what I mean? Like that yours makes perfect sense. Uh, mine was uh, water polo. Captain's uh, Captain Seven, rugby okay, Dad Seven, and then lots of sports lo- people because the numbers lot- they've worn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That actually makes me think of something. And in your rugby routine, it's completely random. Do you have any like? I always hear people asking this, and I used to have quite a few things that I would do. Do you have any like processes that you have to go through, like in not even OCD way, but in like a? Uh, it's just a process that you go through either the night before or the day of a game. Yeah, I think like we have um, we actually do quite a lot of work on it. Um, we have a site comes in and speaks to us about our switch on process. Um, yeah. And I think that if, if people have superstitions and stuff, it, that is within that switch on process. And, um, yeah. There's a few little things. Um, I have to be very organised. I have to have everything packed in for like everything's laid out. Cut could never pack the day off. Like that would that would be us. Oh, no, no, no. Um, uh, I don't have like um, lucky underwear or anything, but I do have to have matching. Like I, I need matching okay. in my life. Um, yeah. And uh, gum shield in sock early is one of the things that's very like if that's not it. I love um, it. I, I think those are, those are many things. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not very, I think because I was born on Friday 13th, I'm not very superstitious. So like, if I am, then I'm screwed because. <laughs> yeah, <them>. yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. I, 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 uh, I didn't have many, but I, I have a funny one in that when I was playing, I got to a point where I refused to, I had to wear, wear my lucky shorts. Or my lucky shorts. And they got so old. But like, I'm so like, yeah, I mean, I look tacky on the field. And my coach was like, Bruce, like, there comes a time like, where you, you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to <laughs> rip, rip the, rip the bandaid, you know? So it was with, with massive, uh, re, uh, hesitation that I, that I had oh. to get rid of them. Uh, but, yeah, I've learned as well, especially I think with sevens, that if you have something that you rely on, it's very dangerous because I think especially with sevens, so much goes wrong or out of the window quite often. Like you don't know what you're changing. It's not like the 15s game where you walk in, you have a massive change room, it's going to be like that. Yeah. You could be in yeah, a yeah, yeah. it's getting changed. And I think like that's made me kind of reliant on less things because you just couldn't, otherwise it muck with your head. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, there, there's a lot to take away from this in terms of, in terms of like a, a gym session or a program, you know, like, I'm not saying you have to go through a whole process before, but like I often talk about the first seven minutes, which we'll get to. Oh no, we've already got to. Uh, I, 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 I often talk about the first seven minutes being the worst, the worst part of the workout. It always is the beginning where you, your body's a little bit tired, it's a little bit stiff, and what you have to do is is get your head through that. Like sometimes you might feel I'm too tired, like I'm I'm I'm, I'm fatigued, I'm overworked. When actually it's just your mind saying. I don't really feel like doing this. And you've got to just push through that. And I've, I always talk about it, right? But like, the, and then once you get through the first seven minutes, the re- rest of the workouts are breeze, especially if you go hard. Yeah. Um, um, and um, talking of someone going hard, see, I remember. Oh, well, not I remember, but you know what I mean? You you were chirping that I'd forget. Uh, no, can, we bring up, actually. can we bring up Kalikas? Oh. What? I mean, it's quite small for me, but uh, hello, yeah, really. on, I can on read top. it. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm on the phone. We're going to read it all, but don't worry, Greg. You can't just because you can't see it. Everyone else hopefully have on a bigger screen. But um, Kalika has had the most wonderful journey with Jeff. Um, basically, for her and so many, and I know so many will relate to this. It's not just about those results in terms of health and fitness. It's the opportunities that it's given her because she has more confidence and her lifestyle changes out. You can see that beaming smile, which is making me so happy, um, with her surfboard there, 
and um, kayak the Atlantic and saw dolphins. It's like actually incredible. And I love this dance with the sun rising because as we say this, and um, we can see the sun rising on Greg's face, which I feel is. I, I won't. I, I mean, I won't be dancing. I won't be dancing. You won't, but you won't be dancing. But um, I always like seeing the face, and, and thanks to Jeff Coach Sean as well. Um, I don't know why it said Jeff Coach Sean. Coach Sean, and <laughs> um, it's because it was written down like that. Um, and his hard uh, work, um, and also the relationship that's bonded through your coaches in one on one. So. Yeah. Fantastic work, Kalika. You can see a little face in the top corner as well. We've celebrated her all this week. So well done, Kalika, for your incredible journey. I hope it continues um, and is we're here all the way for you. So well done. Love it. Absolutely love it. So well said. And guys, we've got uh, two minutes before we're going to get started. So let me quickly just talk you through the workout. So we spoke about the number seven. Everything today is in sevens, right? So you have which is also quite cool. Now I've just seen another reference and plays sevens, you know. Anyway, uh, the warm up is six minutes, but with a minute break, seven. So everything is a six minute block with a minute rest, getting us to seven. So seven minutes uh, will be your total warm up. Seven minutes where we have like a non stop work, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds into straight into a hold. Okay, so some sort of isometric hold. Then set, uh, set two is going to be a ladder. Okay, of, of seven minutes where you're going to be working in increments of two. Okay, and then finally, set three is an AMRAP, uh, which Ames has already chirped me about. It's going to be hard, but we're going to push. We're going to finish strong with that AMRAP. And then, if there's time, and if there is time, we're going to have a little finisher, which I you highly doubt there will be. Man. I love a little finisher. Okay, Ames, are you ready, team? Are you ready? Get yourselves to the back of the room and start getting ripped up, and we'll see you shortly. Yes. I can't believe we didn't even Ooh. speak about our programs then. <laughs> I know, oh, Jesus, we had so much going on. So much going on. Team, uh, I will just quickly say, the gas trio is back, baby. We're back. Highly anticipated and we are back. There are lots of other cool programs, but that's all I've got time for, sadly. Sadly, <laughs> that's all I have time for. Oh, uh, what? Uh, okay, anyway, team, we are going to start off with a nice six minute warm up two. We're gonna go through two rounds of it. 30 seconds per exercise, finishing off. Uh, in the middle, we'll have a 60 second uh, exercise. You're gonna start off with sprint to high knees. So one, two, pause. One, two, pause with that knee high up, okay? We're gonna start off in three, a two, a one. Uh, let's go, 30 seconds, sprint to high knees. You can obviously march this out. Don't be, don't um, be, uh, what's the word, remiss if you're feeling a little bit uh, off balance. That's the whole point. It's meant to, like when you land on that leg, it's meant to pull your core in, keep your hips nice and straight. And that is what we are going for. You're 20 seconds in. You're going into a bear crawl hover next. Okay, just to get that core activated. In three, two, one. Bear crawl hover and now here, team, you want to get your knees as close to the ground as possible. Beautiful flat back. Optional to give me a little shoulder tap. You can maybe bring it in in round two, okay? Just to pull yourself uh, off, off center again and, uh, and get that core engaged. Good, 10 seconds to go. You are going to move from here to the world's greatest stretch, and for 60 seconds, okay? So you're going to swap at, at 30. In three, two, one, world's greatest. So right uh, or left foot to the outside left arm and you're just going to rotate me on one side. Okay, pulling it right the way through as well, and So underneath you as well. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. So like rotate underneath and rotate right, right the way around. 
Good, good, good. Your knee can be on the ground or your knee can be uh, off the ground, depending on how deep you want to get into that hip flexor. You have got three, two, one, and you're changing sides for 30 seconds. Good stuff. Uh, and what stupid person made this world's greatest stretch? I hate it. It is literally the world's greatest stretch. Literally. No, it's not. It's horrible. I know it's horrible, but it gets you going. It gets the people going. Okay, and from here, in 10 seconds, you're going to go into more thoracic rotation. So you're going to go high plank rotation. Just taking it up a notch. In three, two, one. Let's go. High plank rotation. Yes. There she is. Now, now, now she's going she's gonna to stop, stop complaining about my uh, world's greatest, greatest stretch. I didn't name it the world's greatest stretch, Amy Alexandra Wilson. I didn't. I know. I me. I Ten it. seconds. Ten seconds. You're going to stay in this high plank position. So we're really getting your core right. going. We are really getting your core going. You're going into a pike toe reach, and In two, one, let's go. Last 30 seconds here. Yeah? Good pike toe you reach. I can't reach the toes. <laughs> <laughs> Team Ames has been telling me off the whole week. Do you know that actually had a client say to me, why, why are you irritating everyone? What have you done? Like, Ames is chirping you. Dom's chirping me. Sari's chirping me. Crikey, I mean, I'm just here in a good mood. You've got five seconds and you're going back to your sprint to high knees. In two, one, let's go. Right to the top here. Ames, I want nothing. I want nothing but positive energy from you now. Okay. Happy now. Did you just say treat them mean, keep them keen? <laughs> oh my god, that is like something we would say uh, when we were 15, trying to trying to play the field with all the with all the ladies. That bulldog, he's on the telly. You like one? It's your bear crawl hover. It's your bear crawl hover. Now give me a shoulder tap, here, yeah, team. Introduce that shoulder tap where you can. Okay, if you just want to hover, that's also fine. Good, 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 good. 10 seconds remaining gas. Tell you what, I'm sticking to the time like you cannot believe. You've got a minute of the world's worst stretch coming up yeah, in better. three, two, one. Into the world's worst stretch, world's greatest. <laughs> Tim, we are the world's greatest. Nicola Williams is saying hello to the best duo. Nicola, we bloody love you and adore you, and good morning to you. Get nice and deep into that hip flexor, and nice and deep, and rotate around. I'm trying really hard. No, you are, you are. You're trying, you're trying really hard, and not only are you trying hard, you are performing like an athlete. In three, two, one, swap it out, yeah. Good job, team. Oh, goodness gracious, it's Friday. The Friday feels have hit us. The bitter sun, it's, it's, it's a balmy, it's a balmy 12 degrees here in London. But I tell you, the sun is up, and that is always good. Keep going, and five more seconds. I know, I know, I know, but you're gonna thank me when we get into the workout. We're going into the high plank rotation in two, one. The high plank rotation for the last time here, team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell you what. Been quite a nice little core and thoracic focus warm up, but oh, let me funny. tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you that you are gonna. I want you in our minute recovery to keep moving because we are gonna push hard, going straight into set number one. You got three seconds, and it's your last pike toe reach, yeah, and pike toe reach. Let's go in two, one. Hiking and toe reaching, hiking and toe reaching. Good, Ames. Good, good, good. Just pulling back nicely. You can see our Ames pikes back really well into like a down dog position and then brings her hips all the way forward. It's exactly what I want to see. Really, really good form here. Ames, all jokes aside, you are looking very strong. I know you've had an intense week of training. Three, two, one, and recover. Right, team. For those of you at home, wherever you are, I want you to keep moving, okay? Don't stop moving now. Jogging on the spot, shadow boxing, just skipping, whatever it is. Dancing, dancing, Friday dancing. There she is, there she is, Anne. 
I wanted right. to just say, I just want Chris Chapman to pop up because I know he's absolutely crushed the last day of the upper body challenge on holiday oh. as well. So, Chris, what a legend. I've seen those posts come through and uh, yeah, that was, it's been such a good set of, uh, program. Ames, do you know that people have been DMing me? I'm sure you too, but because I filmed with you quite a lot, they've DMing me, they want they want version 2.0. The crowd is the crowd is calling for it, and so just put that in your pipe and smoke it, okay? <laughs> right. Team, step number one. We are going straight into 45 seconds on 15 second hold. Okay, I will talk you through the exercises. We are starting off with a walk out into a shoulder tap, and then you are gonna hold a high plank. So you walk out shoulder tap for 45 seconds and you hold the high plank for the for the 15 remaining. We are going, and that's an extra 10 seconds, oh goodness. We are going in three, two, one. Let's go, team. Walking it out. I walk it out. I walk it out. What's that song? Hey, hey. I walk it out. It's like a rap song, I'm sure. Anyway, let's go, team. Come on, we got this. Yes, and yes. So, team, two types of walkouts I like to say. For me, it's a squat walkout because I absolutely cannot keep the tension in my hamstring. But the original, the OG walkout comes from trying to keep your legs as straight as possible when you go down, as Anne showed there, to really get some, some tension into those hamstrings. You've got 10 seconds here. Team, we're into our first set. I need you to push hard, okay? Let's up the intensity where you can. In two, one, holding that high plank. 15 seconds. And you're going straight into jump squats into a squat hold okay in three two one let's go jump squats or air squats whatever you feel comfortable with okay careful aims you're so explosive you'll jump through your ceiling good job good job good job team you can mix this up right so if you want to go 10 jump squats 10 air squats that's absolutely fine just uh if, if that's the if that's your your level if you want to go air squats no problem at all. You're working the same muscle group. Just focus weight through the heels, proud chest, okay? Facing forward, nice straight back. That is what we are looking for. 10 seconds to go here and let's wake up those legs. And then you're gonna hold it out for 15. In three, two, one, squat hold. We used to call it the grumpy, the grumpy face squat hold. And and I, was, it probably still is one of my worst. Right, we're going into a big session here. Grabbing those weights, you're going into devil's press for 45 seconds into a front raise hold. In two, one, let's go. Devil's press, grab those light weights, team. I don't need a heavy pair of dumbbells now. You just go light. So it's like a burpee and a swing just to eye level, okay? You don't have to swing above your head, just to eye level for this devil's press. You can also step this off, team. So, and show us a little step out there when, in your next rep. Sorry. Thank you. So, here's a little step out. Good. And you can drop onto your knees for that push up as well. Good, team. Well done. Keep going. Keep going. Waking us up here. We're going to push. We're going to push. Start lifting the intensity. Five seconds to go here. Five seconds to go. You're going into a front raise hold in two, one. Let's go. Into that front raise hold. Oh, yes. Yes. Keep that core nice and engaged, chair. Remember to breathe. You're going into a Russian twist and then into a V-sit hold, okay? In three, two, one. Let's go, and Russian twist. Cheapest. Someone has... Uh, I don't even know if it's PC, but someone has lit up a monster. A monster... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a monster Jacinta. If you know that word, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Chip is not. It's frowned upon. Absolutely frowned upon. Slash illegal. Uh, but they've not. I mean, it's an early morning. It's an early morning. Get you going. I know Henny is having a laugh in the background. I can tell you that for free. We've got five seconds to go here, and and then you're into your V set hold. In three, two, one. Into that V set hold and hold it there. Good. You can see Anne's has got showing us the variation, straightening the legs, bending the knees, or putting the feet on the on the ground. Those are your levels of 
<clears throat> difficulty. Right, you're going into push press in three, two, one. Up on your feet, push press. Yes, yeah, so a little dip of the knees and push the weight above your head. Good, and good. You can see, and a little dip of the knees just to help with that momentum. And then your head's coming right underneath, right underneath the weight in each rep. Okay, you're going to go into just a static hold after 15 seconds. Okay, I really want you to burn off, squeeze those traps. Well done, well done, well done. I tell you, I might have to move location. This, uh, the smell is uh, pretty, pretty intense. Five seconds. <laughs> just have a laugh, just go with it. In three, two, one. Squeeze it off now, hold it there, hold it there. Five steps as close to your ears as possible. Good, and good, and we've got one more. We have got one more, and it is a bear crawl. Moving three forward, three back, and then we'll finish with a hover. In two, one, let's go. Last one, yeah, and last one. Bear crawl, uh, three forward, three back. Keeping that body, uh, those knees nice and close to the ground. It doesn't have to be big movements, Tim. You can see, Ange is working within like a three, two, three meter area. Uh, not even, probably just a two meter area. And you can just go tiny steps, but you're gonna engage that core and offset uh, the muscle groups, which is gonna force you to pull your core back into neutral, okay? Really solid exercise this. You're gonna feel it in the legs. Good, good, good. You've got five okay. seconds to go, and Five seconds to go, and you're going into your hold in two, one, bear crawl hover now for the last 15 seconds. Then, my friends, you're getting a minute recovery, and that is seven yeah, minutes down, seven minutes down. Well, technically 14, but the first seven was a warm-up. We are finishing in two, one, and recover, and woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, Good job. Right. While Ames is recovering, let me just quickly, because I don't want to miss time here. We are going to go into a ladder for six minutes, then with a, uh, your seventh minute will be your recovery, right? You're working in increments of two. So you're starting off with two. Um, oh, we've changed it, right? So two single arms. So this is unilateral training. Okay, so we're going single arm. So Ames, I want you to give me a squat where the weight touches the ground. Then you stand up, curl to press. And you're gonna, you're gonna give me two reps on one side. Then you go two reps on the other side. Then you give me a weighted burpee on the one side for two, and you alternate that as you go through. Are you happy? So you're yeah. alternating two, four, six, eight, ten, as high as you can go in the six minutes, team. It's very, very simple to follow. One side, one side, um, and one side on the burpee, alternating each round. Okay, it will balance itself out. We are going in five seconds and three, two, one. Let's go. It's unilateral training. It's going to get you forced to pull. Yeah, that's it. Squat with a curl to press. There she is. So you're going two on each side and then you're going into two weighted single arm burpees. There it is. Good. So obviously, team, it goes without saying that the heavier the weights here, the harder it's going to be to keep your hips neutral and your hips facing forward. Okay, Ames is doing a phenomenal job. You can see technique back nice and straight. Curling to press. You're now going on four, Ames. So you're four on each side yeah. and then four burpees. And we just go up the ladder the whole way up. Now, this is a bit of a mind game because you know that it's just getting harder as the, as the, the round uh, goes right but you've got to dig deep now team this is where i need to see you hustling okay i want the intensity coming through in these burpees that's the cardio element you've got a bit of strength with the squats and pull to press full body absolutely full body okay but i want you to push through those burpees as quickly but with your best form as possible okay good ends ends is on to round, round i think six here yeah. we're gonna push through Good, you're one minute and 25 seconds through. I really want you to fatigue your shoulders, fatigue your biceps, fatigue uh, your, your legs. If you feel like you can go heavier, please be my guest, go heavier, but just make sure 
that your form stays nice and neutral, okay? Especially on those squats, kilt press. It's almost like you have to give a wider stance on that squat, okay? Because if you're squatting between your legs, keep that back and nice, nice and straight. It's almost like a, uh, almost like a uh, sumo squat position, okay? Where your, where your feet's a little bit wider apart and angled out at about 45 degrees. That'll help you keep your back nice and straight. Okay, good aims. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want you to try in your head. I want you to try and up the intensity as you move up the ladder. So forget about the fact that you're doing more reps and just get through, uh, get through them with more intensity each round. Okay, you've got six minutes to work here yeah, and you're coming up on two and a half. So you're already almost halfway. I want to see you pushing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, team. You got it. Well done. Well done. It's Friday. Leave nothing out there. Leave absolutely nothing out there. We've got to push hard right through to the finish line. Okay. Go, 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 go. Well done. Well done. Well done. You're coming up on three minutes, team, which is going to take you to halfway through this round. You've got to push hard on those burpees. Get into it. Have have a positive mindset going into those into those uh, into those burpees, team. It's the cardio element. You can see Ed. She's controlled on the on the uh, squat tilt to press, but on the burpees she's controlled. But she's giving it she's giving it the intensity it deserves. Okay, I need you to gas yourself here. Hence, oh, a little play on words there. Gas yourself in this round. Okay. And, uh, and get prepared for September where we are launching the gas trio. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push team. Push, push, push. Wherever you are on your ladder, it doesn't matter. It's you versus you. Okay. That's been the theme of the month thus far. And we're finishing that off tomorrow with Joe and Louis where you've got to be there. It's you versus you. But you needs to beat you. You're the only person that matters right now. So push yourself. Okay, don't, don't, don't feel sorry for yourself. In fact, have gratitude that you're able to move your body to the extent that you're able to move your body. Be thankful that you're able to wake up on this Friday, beautiful Friday morning, wherever you are in the world. Okay, and you're able to get through this movement. Okay, what a blessing. There are so many people that would die to be in your position. So push hard. I know that's dramatic, but go for it. Give it everything. Okay, let's leave nothing out here on the Friday. We want to finish the week as strong and as positively as we possibly can. And you have got a minute and a half remaining in the six minutes. Team, push for me right through. The ladder, you've been working in increments of two. I'm not sure which, uh, which, what number Amy's up to. Wherever you are, dig deep, push Forward. Use Amy as inspiration. If you're ahead of Amy, go ahead of Amy. If you're behind, that's absolutely fine. Push yourself. And then if you're using her as like your your litmus test or your as your what's the word? As your uh, what's the word? Where you're following someone, doesn't matter. One minute to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push through. It's the last minute. It's your last minute of work. I want you digging deep here. We're going. It's 20 past seven slash 20 past eight wherever you are in the world it's 20 past something okay and you must just push through the 10 minutes that we have remaining come on it looks like we might have time for a little finisher if i stick to my guns which i tell you the guns are going to be feeling it the guns are going to be feeling it yeah let's go let's go let's go push yourself yeah push yourself right through to the end and you've got 20 seconds to go 20 seconds to go. I'm gonna notice, I think, I think I'm gonna notice a little increase in speed here from Anne because she's gonna wanna finish this last uh, curl to press. There won't unfortunately be time for the burpees. Team, you've got five seconds remaining. Three, two, one, and recover. Good job. Anne's is gonna finish, that's absolutely fine. I will talk, I will talk you through the last round here. We have a cheeky little arm wrap, similar to what you did now, but your reps don't change. Okay, so that's the nice thing. Your reps stay the same. So you have that, you have the ability to know how long it takes you in your first round to know that you've got to get that same time every single round of the six minutes. Right, very, very simple. The arm wrap, five reps on each exercise. You've got five push press, 
five bent over rows and then five devil's press. Now, it's natural that you, the push press is going to be quicker as well as the bent over row. I want you to keep your technique, but I pulled you into that bent over row position because that's the position that you land in when you jump up onto that devil's press movement. Okay, and you're swinging from there, driving the hips forward. And are you ready? It's your last big six minute block or seven minute block of this lucky number seven, seven, lucky number seven workout. We are going AMRAP. Can we pull him up on the screen, please? We are going in three, two, one. Let's go team, six minutes. And I need you to give it everything now. Give the people what they want. They want to see Amy Alexander Wilson Hardy, the athlete training at a full intensity. No, you don't need to bring full intensity, obviously. You're probably in the middle of a, of like, uh, she's probably gonna go into like full contact, bloody copper stump or something after this. For those of you who don't know what copper stump is, it's the Afrikaans meaning for stand on head. Uh, cop, I think, copper stump, stamp, stamp on your head. It's a very aggressive, full That's intensity. No, 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 Ames, you don't want to, you don't want to play copper stump here in South Africa, let me tell you. It's a confined area of space, okay, and you pay full contact, full contact with it in a confined area. And by confined area, I mean like eight meters by four meters, like tiny, and you're going eight on eight, and it is just savage, okay? So that's what I want. Get your, stand on someone's head in this round, just stand stand on someone's head, take it through to the finish line here. We've got to push. These devil's press are going to get you, okay? But what I want from you is to take note on how long it's taking you to finish each round and absolutely crush it consecutively, round in, round up. Team, it's an AMRAP. It's you versus you. As many rounds, as many reps as possible. Let's push ourselves into oblivion let's bust let's bust through the ceiling let's break through the stratosphere and push yourself what am i who do i think i'm wolf of wall street or what let's go let's go let's go call me wolfie today no don't ever terrible nickname let's go it's almost quite creepy i don't even like it let's go let's go let's go ames you got it you got it you're all over it is anyone else just listening to Greg matter away about no, <laughs> random I mean, rubbish? I, I, I just talk, I just talk absolutely. I love it. It keeps you, it keeps you, it keeps it. you distracted. It keeps you distracted. Go, go, go. Let's go. Team, we got it. We got it. Yeah. Friday. We're going to push. push. Ames is going to do a little Friday dance in between her next set. There it is. A little jiggle. My money go jiggle jiggle. <laughs> it falls. They want to see me wiggle wiggle. Fo show. Let's is. go, let's go, let's go. Come on, team. Two and a half minutes through. We're gonna go right to the end. I want intensity now. Full intensity with everything that you do. Every movement that you perform now. I want you doing it with the utmost intensity, with 150%. There's always more in the tank. There is always more in the tank. It's a fact. It's a fact, there's always more in the tank. Get your body to be obedient to your mind. Oh, I love that. I think it was said by, uh, hold on, give me a second. Who's the greatest martial artist of all time? Oh, Bruce Lee. Make your body, get your body to be obedient to your mind. Said by Bruce Lee in a much more articulate way. But I tell you, if you can get your mind controlling your body and telling your body that you can do more, you are stronger than you think you are, I promise you right now, your body will listen and follow. It will follow your mind. So get into that space, get into that ugly space now, especially in these devil's press, okay? Squeezing, squeezing those shoulder blades back. Uh, I haven't spoken about technique here much, because it's all it's AMRAP, it's you versus you. You know the form, team, you know the exercise. Ames is performing it perfectly on every rep. So if you need uh, uh, reference points, have a look at Ames and watch that tech is and just gun it right through to the end. You have two minutes remaining. So you've got a little push press, a little bend of the knees. We've done it earlier, straight underneath, head underneath the, the dumbbells. You see, and slowing it down really nicely here. You see, squeezing those shoulder blades, uh, almost like you want a pencil between your spine, okay? 
and the back is nice and neutral. Good, excellent. Look here, her aim swings up from that bent over row position. She drives her hips forward. Okay, a classic mistake here is to stand up too tall. I do it all the time when I'm tired. I stand up too tall and then I try and get the swing. That, unfortunately, is going to force your back to do the work as opposed to your glutes and your hips. Okay, Ames always calls me out on it because it's really, really important to avoid that, that motion of swinging uh, when you're standing. It's, it's fine in a devil's press, I mean, in a, in a kettlebell swing or a devil's press, if you're using your glutes and your hips. Let's go, let's go. There's one minute and one minute to go. Take us home, take us home. You know what, we're gonna have time for a little minute finisher. Woohoo! I love a little minute finisher. 45 seconds team, 45 seconds to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's dig deep. Friday feels, give me a little jiggle on your last bent over row, Aim. A little Friday, a little Friday feels. There she is. I mean, <laughs> yes. I love that so much. I love that so much. Oh, it just makes me happy. A dance will always make you happy. Not that I can dance, so I'm always sad. <laughs> I'm never sad, team. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds, you're taking us home. Hello, Nancy Close, good morning, good to see you. You're taking us home in three, two, one, and finish wherever you are in the AMRAP, like Ames always does, as such a great example. Team, what a session. You've got a minute recovery, and then I'm afraid we may go 30 seconds over. Okay, but we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do one minute finisher. We're gonna do one minute finisher, and I'll tell you what it is. All it is, is very simple. It's very simple. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, we Burpee have variations. got one minute of burpee variation, my favorite thing in the world. You've got 15 seconds, you're gonna give me a burpee variation, whatever that may be. Chirpy, step up burpee, burpee broad jump, burpee tuck jump, burpee box jump, uh, surfer burpee. There are so many variations of a burpee. I want you to pick one and go for it as hard as you can for one minute. Gas yourself now. This is the energy I want you to bring at the end like we spoke about in the beginning. And are you ready? It's the last minute Always. of your Friday. We are going in three, Two, one, let's go. And just doing the one burpee. Oh, oh, I like it. I love it. The one variation I didn't mix was a weighted breaker. A weighted breaker who we, what we have come to know as probably one of the hardest variations of a burpee. Chest to floor, and was all in control here. No, no knees on the floor, you can see it rowing it up, getting that back nice and engaged and a press above the head. It is full body. You've got 25 seconds to go. We are gonna push right through to the end here, team. We are 30 seconds over time. That is it, 30 seconds. You've gotta go, you've gotta give me everything. Finish, take us home on this Friday. Leave nothing in the tank. You've done so well, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Let's push. Wherever you are, a couple of extra reps in these last five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and recover. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the bloody room because that, my friends, was absolutely sensational. Different vibe today. Quite strength focused, but definitely full body. I threw in a couple of cardio elements to keep you guessing, to keep you guessing, but you have done a phenomenal job. Ames. Amy Alexandra Wilson Hardy, phenomenal effort. Always, always a pleasure uh, instructing you. Please, can you speak if you have uh, the lung capacity? Because I feel like I have not stopped speaking. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm I mean, that was classic. Great mode and I'm tired because I look through a session and I hit at every bit. <laughs> if I'm fresh, I'm like, yeah, let's do this. If I'm tired, I'm like, oh, Greg. Oh, what about that set? Oh, Greg. So <laughs> you can tell I was tired. I picked a few bits, but you know, like, he stood firm. And I'm so glad he did because I feel so good now. So good. Absolutely. So thank you, Greg. Thank you for not taking my chirps. 
and being standing strong. <laughs> I absolutely love your trips. You know what? It's, it's just it's just a bit of banter, which is great. And uh, and honestly, like it was so cool to watch because before the session backstage, you were exactly you were saying like. Oof, that's gonna be a tough round. Whatever. I mean, I ha- I've just... had four days hard training. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, and I'm. Gra- that's what I'm saying. It's granted, but then once you get into it, it's like we said. After those first seven minutes, you were just like, yeah. you just. It's like you almost went into a different place, and you just forgot about all of it, and you just pushed right through. Talk us I mean, through some of the comments coming through. It's, it's yeah, you get comments. It's definitely also like I didn't. I didn't go completely 100% out, I'll be honest. My RP was probably an eight, but I knew that that was perfect for what I needed today um, because I, I like listening to my body. So um, I still push, I push really hard and my heart rate was like, you can see I'm dripping. But like, yeah. I think like, I have got an extra level. I know that, but I think that's okay for me today. And then I know that when I've got a hard day, I can then give everything. So also think it's important to realize you can't be at 100% the whole time. So like with your rest days and everything, but not just the rest days, your cycles of training, okay? So if you want any advice from it, please shout, but always aim for, I'd say, three sessions a week where you go as hard as you possibly can. But on those other days, if you're just hitting an eight, that's still a really good thing to do because you're still pushing. Can, as I said, you can see that I've pushed, I've had a great workout, but I, I felt my body needed a little bit less. Does that make sense? It makes it makes absolute sense. That's why I gave you a round of applause because we talk about about uh, perceived rate of exertion all the time, right? And it's so good that you understand your body to a point where you know what that is. So it's it's pointless typing in the comments there ten every single time. It's 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 physically impossible, a eh? and uh, pr- pretty much. And b like you you need to learn you need to learn. So take your watch off. That's how I did it. I learned how hard I could push by actually removing the watch, removing the stats, and just taking, saying to myself like, how dark can I go here? And then yeah. when my body is is fatigued, I actually listen, like you said. Um, and it's such, such solid advice, especially coming from uh, from you, Ames, because you, I mean, you're a professional athlete and you know so much about this. So guys, reach yeah. out, honestly, reach out to Ames, reach out to me, whoever it is. And if you want that advice, um, it will really, really, really be worth your while. Where you could do like, you could like, cycles of training as well so there could be weeks where you're going to like push yourself harder for more so at the moment i've had some really hard weeks of training so most of my sessions are going to be up there eight plus rp out of ten and other weeks i will be low for a longer time so it's it's like that active rest which i know um don's spoken so much about break yourself has so as you said the, the strategies in place is the reason our programs are 21 days a lot of them and then a week rest so you can have that cyclic cyc- cyclic training um, yeah, without even yeah. realizing. Absolutely, absolutely. Just to address a couple more. Meredith, well done. You're a legend. Leanne Mapule and Nicola says, uh, can't wait for Amy to come to Cape Town. We are all so, so excited. It's going to be epic, team. Guys, great session. And Alexandra, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. What a me. session. You smashed it. Boom. Thanks, great really great good. Session. And I'll Love see it. you. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you there. I'll see you on another time. Whenever I see you. Hopefully next week, Tuesday. Big lab team. We're on a quest to find something of great worth and value. A quest to find the ultimate treasure. It's time to embark on this journey with us. The journey of a thousand miles begins with you taking one single step. A positive mindset, physical strength, nutritious food, and encouraging support. These are the four components you'll need to conquer the challenges and hurdles along the way and ultimately find where X marks the spot. It's so important to be aware of where you're searching, and I'll tell you why. Because more than often, the treasure actually lies within yourself. It's you versus you 